Hey guys, so it is time for a monthly favorites video. I know I normally skip every other month or whatever, but I really felt like doing an April favorites because I have some products to talk about and that's kind of rare. And I also have like a couple fashion favorites to include, some media favorite, random favorite. I got everything covered. So let's just get started with beauty favorites. So my favorite lip combo of the month that I created, I only wore it one time, but it was definitely my favorite look out of all the looks in the month. That was what I was wearing in my last video of the MAC eyeshadow palette. It was these two in combination and I loved how it turned out. It was weird because in person it looked a lot more nude but then on it looked like more berry tone. I don't know. So it was MAC Spice Lip Pencil with uh, Wet n Wild in the flesh on top and they just are like such a pretty combination and I love them. A dupe for the MAC Spice lip pencil if you want to know is the NYX, no, yes, what does it? Milani Spice lip pencil. They're basically the same thing. I realized that in my makeup haul so they're called the same thing and they're dupes of each other. Coincidence? I think not. Wet n Wild has a lot of great great nude shades for every skin tone. It is Oh my gosh, I have every single one of them. I love them. Which, by the way, that video will be coming soon. Next, I've been loving a new mascara, and that is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I normally don't go for high-end products, okay? But this, or high-end mascaras, I do go for high-end products. But this is a like curling, lengthening mascara. It's not really volumizing, but I find that it's super volumizing on me. It's what I have on today, not that you can tell in a video. I've also been loving my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade, which is the like, it's a shimmery one. I use it as a highlight, of course. It is just so pretty and natural looking and you can build it up, but it's what I have on today on my cheeks. And it's just really like a natural glow. It's not as pigmented as Soft and Gentle or By Candlelight. Could probably use this all over because it's not that shimmery, but it is shimmery, so I don't know if you'd want to do that. I don't know. As for palette of the month, of course I love my MAC custom palette that I use pretty much every day. I used it today. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below where I talk about all about the eyeshadows in it and my favorites and stuff like that with swatches and everything. Um, but this month, well, pretty much every month, I've also been loving the Laura Gold Unzipped palette. It is so pretty and I mean... It's so swatchable. Like, have you never seen a palette that's, like, so swatchable? You just want to touch every single one of them. And you barely have to touch it, and it is, like, bam, like, in your face pigmented. It is so pigmented. I think Lorac makes some of the best eyeshadows in the market. I love Lorac eyeshadows. These are just so gorgeous and so pigmented. As for blush, if you saw my get ready with me, I don't remember. I think it was the girly one. Yeah. If you saw that video, I used this for the first time, and I, like, instantly fell in love with it. It is so gorgeous. It is a blush. It's by Bare Minerals. It's in Blushing Beauty. And speaking of the name, it kind of would be a great bride blush. I'm not a makeup artist, but this I would wear this on my wedding day for sure. It's what I have on my cheeks right now. So natural and it's pretty neutral tone, so I think any skin tone this would look gorgeous on. And I've never been into Bare Minerals blushes ever but there's just something about this color that is so beautiful and just looks amazing on the face. Next we have a brow product. I've revamped my brow routine a little bit, which I am going to be doing an updated one, but I got a new dip brow because I'm fading my hair. My hair is getting lighter and the dark brown was getting too dark, so I got it in soft brown. So I will be doing that really, really soon, probably definitely in May, um, but I tried this product out. I... Oh my gosh, I don't know how I lived without this. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is like the smallest wand you've ever seen on anything. Like, look at that. This is a brow volumizing fiber gel, but you can't see the fibers. It just goes on so smooth and it literally like emphasizes your hair. If you are a blonde hair uh, brow girl or sparse hairs, this will make your brow game super super strong. I love it. I can't like go without it now. I have used other eyebrow gels and I love them. Um, I have the Hard Candy one and the NYX tinted brow gels. I prefer tinted to clear and those are really good but is nothing compared to this. Like I, the Hard Candy one is a uh, fiber one as well and it's good. It's just 
not as good as this one because that one you can actually see the fibers and this one you can't and it just volumizes it it's like magic on the eyebrows i love it now onto some fashion favorites first up we have a new pair of sunglasses in the family and i'm very happy to announce it it is a pair of ray-bans which i own a pair of aviators that i'm actually selling here's a picture I um, am selling those on my Depop. I got these from Depop as well for like $90, which is so much cheaper than they nat naturally go for. Actually go for. So that's what they look like there. I love these. Ever since I saw, I think it was Arden wearing these in a picture on Instagram, I was like, I need those. Also from Depop, I picked up a pair of Unif shorts. I, oh, I've been so obsessed with buying stuff on Depop lately. It's just so... I, I prefer to buy like the higher end things for cheaper. And they're not like super super cheap, I, I mean those glasses are $90, but like you can find hella cheap things, you can find things that are out of stock that aren't sold anymore, like I've just been really obsessed. So I got this pair of Unif shorts, <sighs> looks like a skirt but it's a pair of culottes I guess you would call it. They're like pretty wide but like they're flowy and they have pockets. These are in a size medium, still had the tag, so that's pretty cool and these were like... 40 I want to say and originally they're probably like 90 or something ridiculous like that so really excited about that purchase as well so I just recently listed a bunch of stuff on my Depop by the way and I still have a bunch available uh, normally they sell out pretty fast but this batch didn't sell out so there's still stuff for you guys to shop if you want down below I will link it if you want to shop my closet like I said I'm selling my other Ray-Bans so if you want a cheaper pair of Ray-Bans go for it next I've been loving crop tops like these with like the like the one I'm wearing actually as you can tell with like the higher neckline this one's actually a halter so there's no back look at that mosquito bite this one's from Urban Outfitters and I just I love the color it's so soft and cute and then these I have this one in cream as well and these are from Forever 21 and I just love how flattering these are another trend I've been super into free boobin I don't wear a bra with these I'm not wearing a bra right now I just I like to free boob it now. And then we have a pair of shoes that I've just been wearing non-stop for since I got them. I just wear them every day to school. I love them. I scored these all black vans at Urban Outfitters for $20. They're originally like 50 so when I saw them on sale and they were the only ones in my size, like these were literally the only all black vans on sale at Urban and they were in my size. I just choked a little bit so my voice is a little... <clears throat> I need some water. So my next favorite is a candle and that is the Black Dahlia candle by Urban Outfitters. This smells so good. It's very floral so yeah I mean if you don't like floral I also don't like how it burns. How all that on the sides like is that gonna burn eventually? Will that melt? Can I remelt it? I don't know. Next we have some random favorites, media favorites, things like that. The first thing I want to mention is this monthly subscription thing called Grays, which is all about snacking, which who doesn't love snacking? So they were so kind to send me two of the boxes to try out some of the snacks. I've already eaten like four of them um, and there's four snacks in every box. I'll show you what it looks like inside. The packaging is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life. So it has like a little sheepies up there and then it comes packaged like that. So you have four little snacks and they're all pretty natural and good for you in some way or another. A lot of them are high in protein, which is amazing for vegetarians, pescatarians, whatever. The key lime pie is amazing. It has like these mini meringues and like little cookies. I might eat one. And this one had raspberry and coconut muffin, which can I buy this in bulk? Like, can I just buy this? It was so good. I actually ate it for dessert. Like, it was so good. Oh, and also underneath the little snacks, you got like little flowers underneath there. Isn't that so cute? I think it starts at $6.99 a month and you can customize your boxes as far as like what taste you like. So they'll send you one, you rate the flavors and then eventually it starts to, oh my God. And then they start like, you know, customizing it more and more the more you rate the snacks. My mom calls it Pandora for the palette. Is my mom not a genius? Which one should we try first? Let's do the flapjack. So it's rustic rolled oak cocoa flapjack with mixed seeds. Mmm. It tastes like a granola bar. Like a chocolate granola bar. It was really good. Next, I'm really curious about this one. The cocoa cookie dippers with oat and spelt and the cherry compote. Sounds fancy. Dip it in there.
that is really good oh my god this cookie it tastes like crust of a pie like that's my favorite part of a pie so it tastes like I'm eating a cherry pie right now I'll have the link below if you want to try Gray's um, because it is really good and it's pretty inexpensive and they're all like good for you and they all have something good for you in them and they're like perfect little snack sizes to throw in your bag for school and stuff I would honestly start buying this myself like these were sent to me but with the snacks that you get I and considering only one of them out of eight was savory and I'm a sweet person I would totally get this on my own and I'm such a snacker so like definitely check it out I'll have the link right there so a book that I finished reading this month was Lord of the Flies finally it took me forever to get through that book and honestly I did really enjoy it but I think three quarters of it was really hard to get through because it is kind of it well it's an older book it's more of a children's like teen novel which I love but it didn't have as much action as I'm used to like I read Stephen King all the time so it was a little bit slow for me in the beginning but towards the end it was so good and I really really love it I know everyone's probably read it and I was the only one that hadn't read it but it was really good I really identified with Ralph and uh, Piggy I love them a movie that I really loved this month was it follows it's still in theaters I believe um, it might be like more limited now because it came out a little bit ago but if you had the chance to see it in theaters I would really recommend it it was really good it's a horror film of course I did review it on my horror channel which I'll link that review down below if you're curious about more info some like trailer clips and things like that I go more in depth on that channel so if you want to check that out I suggest you do but just go see it it was really good really original had that like old 80s horror vibes a little bit and it was it was really entertaining so that's basically all I have to mention for my favorites I hope this was enjoyable let me know what you've been loving this month down in the comments and what you want my next videos to be I'm planning like a festival lookbook because I'm going to rock in Rio in Vegas in May. I'm leaving in two weeks for the road trip. I'm so excited. So because I'm seeing Metallica, I'm gonna, you know, edge it up a little bit. It ain't gonna be no boho Coachella stuff. No. So look forward to that. And also I'm planning a meetup, guys. I'll do a more big announcement um, as it comes closer, but I'm thinking May 23rd around like noon or something like that um, it'll be in Roseville so if you can make it please let me know down below I just I don't know how many people are gonna go I had a dream that I had a meetup and only one person came <laughs> and I was really sad but even if it was just one person it'd be totally worth it but finally I'm planning a meetup and this is also the year that I'm gonna get a PO box which will be really soon so I'm finally like taking those steps I talked about it in a video a while ago in uh, let the changes ensue and where I wanted to like make this the year YouTube so I'm really really trying and putting more effort in the videos I'm gonna do the meetup and I'm doing more things so it's been really exciting planning everything so I'll do a more announcement -y type video as it gets closer because it's still a month away but let me know if that day works for you if you prefer something else or if you even can go um, so I just kind of want to get a feel of who can go and stuff like that so definitely that info down below I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon bye <laughs>